when in com conflict, uh, you may like 10% of the idea that the other person is saying, and uh, that is that is when that is the clue when uh, the tension between two, the friction between the uh, in uh, amongst the team members started to dissolve. So. Um, <clears throat> When uh, in discussion about innovating some idea, uh, what uh, you can say is, wait, 10% of whatever you are seeing is, uh, is what I think to be perfect, uh, but we can uh, not but, and we can also do this. Also, we can have three other ideas <coughs> then whatever your viewpoint is you just add one so the 10 percent of the other person's idea your friend's idea is retained uh, plus your idea is added so that makes it two then and the person becomes involved included by you so he is there to represent his idea and when these two become these two uh, become part of that innovation, that discussion, then he also comes up with uh, other ideas uh, so that uh, that also triggers other ideas. No? And other team members also start uh, pitching in their own ideas and uh, the similar uh, similar formula follows everywhere. So who, who, whenever the other person says something, just uh, uh, whether you agree or don't agree, Tell him that the tell him or her that, <laughs> that the uh, okay this particular uh, this particular person is okay but what do you say should we add this thing this this would be better and then you ask him his opinion his or her opinion and uh, existing two ideas then get uh, 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 no. It gets uh, kind of um, again explored uh, in the context of uh, the new idea that is coming in. So that is how going back and forth. <coughs> you can add, uh, one can add, the entire team can add uh, further ideas for innovation and uh, also um, go on adding ideas and most importantly, uh, the, the conflict that is very likely to happen when uh, opinions are being expressed, <coughs> those also are taken care of. And in this process, uh, what you are trying to do is, I said the negative emotions are curtailed and uh, the ongoing uh, good emotions are brought in. And that is how the, the relationships at workplace or otherwise also. These relationships are required to be nurtured at every stage and uh, in an ongoing basis. It cannot be just one day game. So every day, this is the formula that one needs to adopt, uh, adopt so that uh, people feel uh, included and empowered. Since the entire <coughs> process is uh, owned by the entire uh, team members and each of them had uh, put on their opinion in that um, uh, kind of discussion and innovation. So when it, was, it is documented, everybody's idea is uh, recorded and, uh, and the, the counter uh, arguments also. Why this is so and why this is not so. In the beginning, one can actually get uh, uh, get the record of uh, all the all the ideas that have been discussed, and uh, what in the end uh, uh, looked like to be the most logical solution that uh, is adopted. But in the process, the other opinions also have been recorded. That, that can go into formulating plan A, plan B, plan C. 
suppose something uh, happens and the things go on according to uh, one's planning then those uh, ideas can come in and um, uh, those those can uh, uh, actually uh, make the entire thing very rich the atmosphere becomes very very congenial and uh, people become powerful empowered rather and their opinions are counted uh, and this is a democratic setup uh, at workplace that is one looking at and being a manager one uh, needs to facilitate the rotating of uh, the opinion making rather so when you are sitting down in the workplace and uh, like say you are deciding for the day uh, as to what uh, needs to be done that particular day uh, every day some certain challenges uh, come up so one needs to take take those into account also and uh, uh, eventually all those uh, circumstances will be discussed against whatever decision have been taken previously and in the like in this manner nobody feels uh, kind of excluded and uh, this is, that is very essential and uh, and it may surprise you also uh, like if you if you are thinking somebody somebody to be the uh, the black holes in this entire game that person may come up with a very um, innovative idea uh, you will get surprised why so because uh, this person has been like say there there are many many people in the team who do not usually speak up but when they do eventually when they speak up they actually were observing and uh, analyzing at the back of their mind and they will actually come up with uh, like say brilliant ideas and you'll be surprised about that and also it doesn't make much noise right if uh, if many people in the in the team are not speaking up and they are observers basically and they are recording whatever um, you are discussing every day uh, and and that means a lot of things are getting uh, recorded because the less uh, one person speaks, the more he or she observes. And if it is uh, being written down or recorded, it means many things are being recorded. And uh, everything, uh, each and every idea is there on record. And uh, it is there to for uh, everybody to refer to. And uh, it helps in the long run uh, to uh, refer to this uh, idea and if it is very elaborate say of 10 minutes and one uh, discussion is going on every day about uh, something or other and it gets recorded it becomes a very good resource for the organization as to how that uh, uh, decision was taken when it was taken and <coughs> it helps the team when uh, the team is either uh, dis uh, dispersed or um, due to some reason or organizational issues this uh, this team gets dismantled uh, or a new project comes up then uh, the reference uh, papers or the reference uh, documents uh, recordings will all be available for uh, for the benefit of the new newly formed team so it it's it kind of a uh, uh, insurance against uh, risk mitigation against a sudden uh, dismantling of team uh, which has uh, keeps on happening in an organization as soon as uh, it starts getting lot many projects and expertise are expertise are actually divided into certain teams uh, over time frames short term long term and uh, the team gets into new expertise right uh, the as the team grows the the new newly coming in employees they also get oriented uh, with this kind of proper uh, documentation that is already existing and they don't need to be dependent on the people who who are at the moment are otherwise busy and taking care of new projects and all so uh, so the entire thing starts with 
uh, accepting the 10% of what the other person is saying is right. So that is the stand, that is the premise one the leader should operate on. It is not downright rejection of any idea that is coming in. Every idea has its uh, merit and it needs to be recorded. And uh, um, yeah, that's how organization culture is built up. Thank you.